everybody. This is Tabitha from Shutterscape Creations and I wanted to show you how you download a font off of the internet, install it on your computer, and then get to use it in Cricut Design Space. Um, I'm going to show you on both your Mac and your PC and this is how you do it on your Mac. Um, first you open a browser. I like to use Firefox most of the time and you want to go to a font place. I like going to defont.com. That's my favorite place to find fonts. And when you're on here, there's a lot going on. You have all these fonts you can choose from in different categories. Um, these are like some of the more common, like or more recently added fonts. You can come up here and type a particular search for, uh, let's do Disney. And Here's any font that might represent Disney. You could download these if you were looking for a particular Disney style font. Or um, let's just go back to the home page and let's try and find a font that maybe I like curly fonts. So I'm going to go here to these curly scripty fonts um, and let's find one that we could download. Uh, I like this Wizard's Magic, that's kind of cool. So you can do it, download one of two ways. One way you can do it is click this little gray download button over here, right on the screen, right in line with the font you're trying to, to download. The other choice is to um, click on the font name like this. And when you get in here, you can see samples of the font, so like, no. um, uppercase, lowercase letters. This particular font doesn't do numbers. And as you can see, there's some characters missing. Uh, if you want a cent sign, whatever, you can't do that with this font. But when you're in this page, if you want to do a download, don't click this. These are ads. This is an ad. This one down here is an ad. You want this gray download button right here, this gray one here. So I click this download and um, we want to save the file. It's going to save as a zip file. And since I'm in Firefox, my downloads go right here to where uh, that little arrow is. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on the little spyglass to, op to see my file in my downloads folder. In order to download it on my Mac, I'm going to double click Wizards Magic that I downloaded and it's going to unzip the file. And I want this font file right here that says Wizards Magic TT TTF, the true type font. That's the one I want. So I'm going to double click that and my font book is going to open up and all I do is click this install font. And that's it. Wizards Magic is now installed on my computer. So in order to use it, let's close some of those. I like to use Chrome in my design space. It just seems to be happier. Um, on my on my Mac, I, I just seem to have better luck with Chrome. So whatever browser you use, just go to your design space and Cricut. And if you were already logged into design space, you already had the browser open, you were already in there, you downloaded the font, you need to actually close your browser uh, and then restart it again and log back in because when you download a font for your computer, if you're in the application, the application can't use that font until you restart it. So it has to sort of remember where it was. So I'm signed in. I would recommend signing in first and let's just start a new project and I'll show you how you can use that font. Um, wait for all this to start up. I'm going to click add text so we can add some text and I'm going to just, we'll just type my name. That's easy. And it always defaults to the Cricut alphabet. Um, so once you have something typed and you have it selected here, I have my font selected. I'm going to click here. And sometimes if you have a lot of fonts installed on your computer, it takes that a little bit to show up. So just be patient. It might take a few seconds for that to appear. Um, and I'm going to just type Wizards Magic. I could scroll down and try and find it, but I remember we downloaded that Wizards Magic. Um, the other thing you could do, oh look, there it is, all changed. 
Um, the other thing you could do is if you were if you had a lot of fonts, you could go to system fonts and click it there. Um, but there, there it is. It's all set, ready to go. I can size it. I can attach it to a project I'm working on. Um, I can change the color. I can do whatever I want to do. Um, something if you something you should know about system files too, or system fonts is if you want to write them. I just click the little scissors there and I change this to write. You can do that. Let me change it to a darker font so you can see it. Um, but system fonts at this time, most system fonts will write this. So if you want it solid, you'll have to have it write the outline and then color it in or um, just leave it like this if that's what you like. Um, but that's the way system fonts are working right now. Occasionally you can find some system fonts that don't outline or aren't um, fat enough that they leave an outline, but for right now that's how that works. So that is how you do it on a Mac. Let me show you how you would do it on a PC. Hello, I'm here on my PC now and I'm on a Windows 8 laptop and I will show you now how to install a font on a PC and then use it in Design Space. So to do this, we're going to go first back to Defont, and we're going to find another font that we want to download. So let's go back to those curly fonts, and let's find one on here that I'm not sure if I've got on my laptop. Let's try this um, curly stars font. I like that. So once again, we can click download here, or I can click the font. Let's click the font and look at it and see if it's what we're looking for. Uh, this one has uppercase, lowercase, and does have numbers and several characters, it looks like. So this looks like a good font to me. So we're going to click download. And remember, we don't want to click this download button or any of these other ones, we wanna click this one right here. So we'll click download and we're going to save our file. And now we'll go ahead and open the file and we're gonna extract it into our downloads folder. And this file folder only has one file. So we'll open this curly stars true type font. And some people in the PC have, on their PC have said they click this print button right here and uh, put that sample font in a notebook for them to look at. You certainly can do that. I'll show you at the end of the video what I do to get samples of my font when I'm ready to use them. But to install it, it's very simple. You just click install and it's installing this font and that's it. It's installed. So now let's go over to Design Space and use that font. And once again, I prefer to use Chrome and I don't have my Chrome open right now. So we're gonna go here and click on my Cricut Design Space bookmark I have. Now remember, if you were in Cricut Design Space, you need to make sure you exit out um, before you can use this font because the fonts aren't available for use in applications if you're already in there when you install them. So I'm signed in. If you haven't signed in, go ahead and sign in and then we're gonna start a new project. And when the design space window comes up and everything's all good to go, we'll click add text. And this time we're gonna type happy birthday. Let's see here. And once again, it's defaulted to that Cricut alphabet, but we're gonna click this little downward arrow. We're gonna find that curly stars that we downloaded and click here. And there it is, all ready to be used and attached to a file. And I really like that font. I can't wait to use that one on a card. Um, once again, remember, if you want to write this font, it's, it's going to outline it. I'll do it darker so you can see it. 
it's going to outline it like that. And if you want it uh, solid, you can just color it in with markers or colored pencils or something or stickles or whatever you want to do. Or you can just leave it like this. I think this is a real pretty font, even outlined. So that is how you use a font and get it installed on your PC. Now, let me show you the cool little tool I use to look at my system fonts um, when I want to do it. I'm going to open a new tab here and I have this saved. It's called wordmark.it um, and it's a great website. It What you can do when you get to this website is you type right here in this box what you want to write and I hit enter. And it's going to load all the fonts on my computer and write that word happy birthday for me to see. So if I'm making a card and I want it to say happy birthday, I can use this to look up what font I might want to use. Um, you know, here's an Alice in Wonderland fi uh, font I have, or here's a cool script font called Always in My Heart. If I wanted to use one of those, it's all on here, loaded up and ready to go. And I can just select it. It sort of helps me visually see what my word is going to look like in each font. So this is a really awesome tool. And if you can't remember this link, I have it on my Pinterest page. I can type my word here. On my Pinterest page, in my uh, I have a board that I keep um, all of my cool, uh, all of my cool SVG files and stuff in it, and I'm trying, there they are. All the cool websites I have found SVG files, or I found cool stuff for Design Space. Um, I keep it here on my Pinterest page. So if, if you want to follow me on Pinterest, it's pinterest.com backslash Shutterscape, and I have all these sites of things that have been real popular and trendy. Here's uh, monograms and stencilgram, these wonderful alphabet shadow boxes. I've bookmarked all this stuff, different sites to get SVGs on. Um, our favorite crafters, Crafts by Two are on here. Um, but then that word mark is right here. That's what I where I keep this. And you can use this as a great reference to sort of get to and find your fonts. So I hope this helps you out and I hope you were able to uh, sort of decode the mystery of fonts in Cricut Design Space. And feel free to uh, send me a message. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Shutterscape Creations. I'll have that link at the end of the video for you or the at the bottom underneath my video. And send me a message if you have any further questions or feel free to leave a comment on the video. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to help you. And I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.